Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're going to continue talking about. Holographic concerts, and that just might be the future of live music. Our article today is written in the first person, and our writer here is a passionate music lover,、mm -hmm. fascinated by holographic concerts. Now, of course, we talked about holography. That's where you project an image of the singer, and they're moving around. We gave you the example of Teresa Tang、mm -hmm. or Deng Li Jun. She's a household name across East Asia, and you can see her perform right before your very eyes, even though she died way back in 1995. Yeah, kind of crazy the way you can do that. Well, we're going to go ahead and continue talking about this, how the technology works. Remember, we ended day one talking about Pepper's Ghost. Pepper's Ghost is the foundation to this technology, so we'll continue talking about that and、uh, talk about how. Music may really change, be changed in a really big way in the future. Let's get started. But let me assure you, bringing Teresa Dung to life on stage takes more than the simple trick of Pepper's Ghost. To achieve this goal requires an intricate ballet of modern technology and thorough preparation. Computer-generated imagery is employed to create a detailed digital model. Of Teresa's features, expressions, and movements, giving birth to a convincing holographic image. In addition, motion capture technology captures a live performer's movements, enabling the digital model to move like a real person. These sophisticated techniques combine to generate an immersive holographic representation of Teresa Dung. Project this onto a transparent screen on stage. Like a modern twist on Pepper's Ghost, and voila, you have Teresa Dung, moving and singing, leaving the audience awestruck. The wonders don't stop there. Imagine adding the power of machine learning to this mix. Modern software tools can create digital faces from 2D video or image references without the need for a pre-existing 3D model. Film a body double. Cover them with this face and add in some motion-captured facial expressions. What you get is an incredibly lifelike hologram that's nothing short of astonishing. Despite being far from the 3D holograms often depicted in science fiction, which appear to float freely in midair, these holograms adopted in concert performances have enormous potential. Who would have imagined a transition from the simple Pepper's Ghost to these dazzling techniques? It's not just about recreating the past; it's about blurring the boundaries between reality and illusion, and opening up new avenues for artistic expression. As someone who truly cherishes music, I am absolutely thrilled to see where this journey takes us next. Okay, it's time for us to dive right into our article and talk about the contents. Again, we're talking about holographic concerts, the future of live music, and here in day two we begin with the paragraph that says, "But let me assure you, let me guarantee you, bringing Teresa Tang to life on stage takes more than the simple trick of Pepper's Ghost." Pepper's Ghost, of course, came out many years ago, where they just have a reflection on a piece of glass that is、uh, placed at an angle over the stage, and、uh, you think that there's some kind of ghost there when it really isn't. I think audiences at the time probably knew what was going on; they didn't really think there was a ghost there. But still, it's an interesting effect. And nowadays, of course, we have some high expectations for、mm -hmm. technology that just won't cut it in today's concerts. You've got to do much better than that. Yeah, but live music is a lot harder to pull off、uh, these kind of、uh, sound effects or、uh, effects of any kind that they get in movies these days. So, what are they going to do? Well, they've come up with something that is kind of cool, and it can happen live in front of you. So, to achieve this goal of bringing someone back to life on stage. Uh, requires an intricate ballet of modern technology and thorough preparation. Intricate, in, intricate, just means very、um, 
Uh, very complicated. There are a lot of details that work together, intricate.、Uh, maybe if you're a designer,、um, if you are described as being a simple designer, your designs are pretty straightforward. But if you do things that are very intricate, it's considered to be a lot more difficult or complicated to accomplish. So intricate ballet. So. Remember,、um, in day one, I mentioned that we'll often talk about things being、um, a kind of a dance together. They'll do a dance together. Well, here we're using that phrase, and we're using a real、uh, type of dance called ballet.、Um, so it's a delicate dance of light and illusion. Was the phrase from day one? This is going to be an intricate instead of delicate. It's intricate ballet of modern technology and thorough preparation. So they do a lot of work beforehand to accomplish what looks like it's live in front of you. Yep, there are lots of things involved in this to pull it off, and computer-generated imagery is employed or used to create a detailed digital model of Teresa's features, expressions. And movements giving birth to a convincing holographic image. So we've got computer-generated imagery, and that is used to create this digital model of Teresa Deng. Okay, Teresa Deng Li Jun. Okay, so again, this is all in the digital world, and of course, they probably use lots of old pictures of her from photographs and concerts and things like that. And then they kind of come up with an idea of what she's going to look like from different angles, and they recreate. These images using digital technology. Again,、uh, this is a model of her features:、uh, what she looks like, how tall she is. Uh, well, the way her body appears and things like that, and how she dances or whatever. Also, her expressions—you、uh, know how she expresses herself when she's singing along and crooning to those old sappy love songs—and also, it's going to, of course,、uh, describe her movements. Everybody moves in a different way. True. They hold the microphone differently, or they move it in front of their face in a different way. So, of course, if you see her do that, you know. Oh yes, Dengli Jun sings that way. She holds the microphone. From that way, whereas other singers don't, and then the result is a convincing holographic image. You'll swear you're actually watching Deng Li Jun in concert. It's kind of crazy.、Um, I was just looking her up on YouTube. I wanted to hear her sing, and there's lots of videos available. She was such a popular singer. When she was performing, so they've got lots to work with. I would, I would assume,、mm. they have a lot of.、Uh, Of、uh, records and even videotapes, digital, audio, everything. So they're creating digital model. Digital we often use instead of saying computerized. They're using a computer to do it. So they've got her features.、Um, you know what her eyes, nose, mouth look like. Expressions. You know how you、um, express yourself and your feelings inside. That's pretty important if you're a singer. Your movements, as Thomas said, everyone moves in a different way, and all of these things together give birth to a convincing holographic image. Give birth just means、uh, to create something, but it's a different way to say it. If you're getting bored with always saying create, use give birth to as a different way to write. So this enables the digital model. To move like a real person, or at least、um, give a really good、uh, facsimile, a copy of a real person, is kind of crazy. And in addition, motion capture technology captures a live performer's movements, enabling the digital model to move like a real person. So I guess this is talking about what we were just discussing:、mm -hmm. the different ways a person moves. In this particular case, it uses motion capture technology、uh, in order to get the、uh, get some information as to how the person actually moves. And of course, this will allow or enable the digital model to move like a real person. And And、uh, the final result will probably convince you that、uh, Deng Li Jun is actually performing right there in front of you.、Uh, this reminds me of some apps I believe that are available on our phones. If you take a still picture of maybe your great grandfather or something like that, it will actually make him move. It will make him like blink his eyes or、oh, move、really? his head from side to side or something like that.、Ooh. So you might be convinced that hey, my great grandfather is actually alive right in front of me. Wow, I believe this motion capture technology has been used in movies for a while. 
I remember before The Hobbit came out,、uh, they had.、Uh, Ben、uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays the dragon's voice, he does、right. the dragon voice.、Uh, just all set up with all these electrodes on his face and in all along his body, and then he'd move along the floor as he said his lines, and they used that to create the cartoon figures that you saw in The Hobbit when the dragon appears, at least.、Uh, so motion capture is still a technology that's being used today、um, in the film industry for sure. So we're gonna continue on. We're moving on to the next paragraph. These sophisticated、uh, techniques combine to generate an immersive holographic representation of Teresa.、Um, they're so- they're sophisticated because they're quite technical. These aren't simple, and it requires a lot of training or advanced technology and know-how to do them. And they're combining these different techniques to generate or create. Uh, that's what generate means. An immersive holographic representation of Teresa Dung.、Um, I wanted to mention when I see immersive, I just think、uh, somebody is really fully,、um, fully focused on something. Maybe you're immersed in a book,、mm-hmm. or you get become fully. Uh, fully immersed in a movie, but immersive. If you look it up, guys, in the dictionary, it actually has a lot to do with holographic technology,、mm. uh, which I didn't know they were using these days,、uh, but they are. So immersive still means what it meant, you know, 50 years ago, but it also、uh, is referring to this holographic technology. In fact, if you look it up, it says something like it's related to digital technology or images. That actively engage one's senses and may create, and this is the scary part, an altered mental state. That's kind of what they're doing with those goggles、mm-hmm. that they're、um, selling out there on the market. You know, where you you put them on and you feel like you're in another reality. Right. So that's immersive. That is used with holographic technology as well. Right, and、uh, you're going to project this onto a transparent screen on stage. Like a modern twist on Pepper's Ghost, and voila, you have Teresa Dung moving and singing, leaving the audience awestruck.、Mm-hmm. So if something's transparent, that means light can go through it, and you can see the image on the other side. This is similar in meaning to the word translucent, which means light goes through it, but you can't actually see what's on the other side. You just get the light coming through; it's all dispersed and things like that. But、uh, here it's transparent; you can see through it. And indeed, it's like Pepper's Ghost, but of course, it's more modern. And voila, there you have it.、Mm-hmm. Uh, she's moving and singing, and of course, the audience will be awestruck. They'll be going, "Wow, that really looks like her." I think she actually has come back to life. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for the first part of our lesson. Let's take a break now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是十月二十四号。Unit Thirteen: Holographic Concerts, the Future of Live Music, Day Two. 今天的课程延续前一天的内容，继续说明到底要怎么做才能够让逼真的 3D 影像出现在舞台上观众面前，包括运用电脑生成图像技术 CGI， 还有动作捕捉技术 Motion Capture Technology。此外，还把机器学习也融入其中。好，我们现在一起来看今天的学习重点，请同学看到第一段。第一段仔细的解释，要让昔日的巨星邓丽君在舞台上复活，光是只有所谓的佩博尔幻象是不够的。后面两个句子分别在说明到底还需要哪些技术，分别是 computer generated imagery， 还有 motion capture technology。好，请同学呢看到第一个句子这边哦，就是等于是这个全息影像是让邓丽君好像呢起死回生一样，又出现在大家面前。那么在舞台上让她起死回生，我们怎么说呢 ？Bring Teresa Dunn to life. Bring somebody to life. 那就是让这个人呢又再活过来。这么做。要做到哪些事？后面的动词呢是 takes， 就需要做到哪些事，跟第二句的这个 requires 其实是同样的意思，就是要做到这些事，你就必须要需要哪些条件。好，再来呢，请同学看到的是第三个句子的这个 employ， 
。请同学特别注意的是，这里并不是雇用的意思。其实说穿了，它就是 used， 就运用这项技术。要做什么呢？要创造出非常呢，就是有很多细节的数位模型。那再来后面呢，数位模型创造出来之后。最后就可以产生相当逼真的全息影像 ，giving birth to。这里所指的当然不是生下什么，而是呢产生什么东西。再来，请同学看到第二段的第一个句子，这里有一个形容词是 sophisticated， 请同学把它画起来。一般而言，我们在讲科技的时候呢，要讲很先进的科技、很高阶的科技，常常会有几个。词语跟它搭配，首先包括 advanced 非常高阶的技术 ，advanced a d v a n c e d， 或者我们说尖端科技 cutting edge cutting edge， 或者我们也可以说 state of the art state of the art technology 都是非常先进的技术。好，再来呢，请同学看到第二个句子的最后面这边。Leaving the audience awestruck. 好，那当然我们知道说前面哦，就讲到说这个邓丽君她已经过世了。可是你利用全息影像的技术，让她在舞台上有所动作，而且还会唱歌。那这么做这一整件事，会让观众觉得惊奇不已。Leaving 再加受词，我们知道就是让什么人怎么样。好，所以这个 awestruck 其实就是受词补语。在修饰前面的 audience 观众，那他们会相当的惊奇不已。好，同样的也是这个句子，老师要补充说明的是 ，like a modern twist， 这个 twist 请同学画起来，这其实所讲的就是一个变化的意思，就是变化，等于要、哦、就是前面所说的这项技术其实并不新啊，之前就有已经有这样的技术了。但是稍加变化，这个 Pepper's Ghost 这项技术虽然早就有了，可是加了一些变化，所以 twist 所指的就是变化。Okay, guys, welcome back. We're talking about holographic concerts and the future of live music. When we left you, we were talking about how they combine different,、uh, very modern technologies and techniques to produce this holographic image. Um, it's not a simple thing.、Uh, you'd have to have some training, of course. They're using lots of things. They're using a little bit of Pepper's Ghost. They're using a, a digital model of all of a person's features, expressions, movements, and they're also using motion capture technology. And that is where they capture or get. Um, a live performer's movements, so that's used and inputted into the digital model、uh, that eventually comes up with this creation. So these are very sophisticated techniques. You have to have some training if you're sophisticated, especially if you're talking about a machine or a system. It's very advanced. It's highly developed, and it's very difficult. It's very complex. So it's a a very sophisticated. A bunch of techniques that they combine together, and that generates this holographic representation. And then they're going to take that and project this image or representation onto a transparent screen on stage, as Tom talked about. Transparent.、Um, yeah, we we can use transparent for different things too. Transparent could also be used to talk about someone being honest. And not trying to hide things.、Uh, you'll often see this in the news. Oh, our government isn't being very transparent. They're not telling us the truth. They're hiding things or obscuring something.、Um, if you have a good relationship, you want to be transparent with each other. You can use it that way as well. So they use all of these great techniques and then、uh, project it onto a screen on stage, and voila! Wow, look at this. You've got that.、Uh, Performer moving and singing, and it leaves you awestruck, or it takes your breath away.
Right. Of course, that might be kind of controversial. I'm not sure how I would feel of seeing someone on stage who's dead. You know, maybe that's kind of spooky, kind of creepy.、Uh, that was in a Star Wars movie. I think they recreated digitally, like Princess Leia. Yeah, they did.、Uh, after she had actually died, I thought that was pretty creepy myself. I did too.、Yeah. I think they should have left that out. But in any way, they that's did my that、opinion. in Fast and Furious too. For oh, the they、actor. did too. Yeah, that one guy who died before、yeah. the filming stopped. I think that was the seventh Fast and His Furious. His brother.、Movie. Um, actually, was the body they were using, and then they would put his face over his brother's body. Oh, makes、yeah. sense. Okay,、yeah. and I guess you can do that with the old dead singers as well. Maybe well, they can bring Elvis Presley back to life or something. They're、like、that. using a lot of these techniques in filmmaking. I know with the new Indiana Jones. Uh, they had Indiana Jones go back in time, and you're watching him supposedly when he was in his 30s or 40s. You know, now he's in his 70s.、Uh, the only problem, though, Tom, was his voice still sounded old. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so maybe they'll、weird. work on audio for、yeah. this in the、uh, future, but. Uh, well, the wonders don't stop there. As our lesson continues,、mm-hmm. imagine adding the power of machine learning to this mix. Okay, so this is kind of like AI, I suppose. Machine、yeah. learning, machines learning how to do this without being told by people. Modern software tools can create digital faces from 2D video or image references、mm-hmm. without the need for a pre-existing 3D model. And I think I was mentioning that earlier. You could just use old pictures of Deng Li Jun, which are 2D. I think the images of、uh, Deng Li Jun only exist. As 2D、oh, images,、yeah. unless you don't count that statue of her that is standing in the cemetery where she's buried. I think there's a statue of、wow. her built there. That would be a 3D image. But most images of Deng Li Jun are 2D. They're video, they're photographs, etc. But you can do this with machine learning. You don't need a 3D model that already exists. Right, so they can do anything. Then uh, that uh, actor that、uh, was in Fast and Furious, his name was Paul Walker.、Mm. I had to look up his name. I forgot. Yeah, but、uh, these different techniques are used to、uh, capture these people so that they can then use them in their holographic images. So film,、um, film a body double. Again, that's what Paul Walker, Walker's brother, did. They brought him in. Where they used his body, he was、uh, the same size as Paul, and had a very similar、uh, face actually, but his movements were similar too. So he, they filmed him; he was the body double. Then they covered them with this face. They used Paul's face instead and added in some motion captured. Facial expressions, so they can do that with the facial expressions. Facial just means relating to the face.、Um, maybe you're going in, ladies, and you're going to have a massage, but it's going to be a face facial massage, facial massage, not a body massage. So what you get if you put these things together is an incredibly lifelike. Almost like a real person hologram. That's nothing short of astonishing. Which means it's totally astonishing.、Yeah. It's not at all not astonishing, if I could say it that way. And again, you get these facial expressions. That reminds me, years ago, I remember seeing lots of women getting facials on the sidewalk next to a church in、mm-hmm. Schirlin.、Mm-hmm. I don't know if they do that anymore, but I remember <laughs> that was quite common. These women getting these facials with、uh, people using strings or something on their faces or something like that. Again, I don't know if they do that anymore, but、uh, we're talking about. About facial expressions, a smile, a frown, etc. Those would be examples of facial expressions. Now, here in the final paragraph, it says, despite being far from the 3D holograms often depicted in science fiction, even though they're not the same as those holograms in science fiction, which appear to float freely in midair, these holograms adopted in concert performances have enormous potential. So, yes, indeed, these images you're going to see in a concert. Are not as convincing as those you'll see in a science fiction movie. We're talking about these images being depicted in science fiction, and here, depicted, of course, is the past tense and past participle of the verb to depict. 
which means you just basically show something by using drawing or painting or video or whatever. You just show it in a certain way. And science fiction, of course, is the genre of books and movies, etc., that talk about things that are going to happen in the future, like with spaceships and things like that. Yeah, and if you depict something, you show it, you represent it.、Uh, you could depict something or someone.、Um, By a drawing or a painting, or maybe you're portraying someone in a movie,、um, depicted though. Yeah, the ones we saw in science fiction, even a decade ago, they looked a little bit less real,、mm. <laughs> more fake.、Uh, but nowadays, they're really、uh, pretty amazing. And it says here, these holograms today, adopted in concert performances. Have enormous potential. They have a lot of potential. Potential just means、um, there's a big possibility of having some success in life.、Uh, maybe your teachers have described you as having a lot of enormous potential. They're trying to encourage you to work harder and to focus so that you'll be the success they believe you can be. Right, so maybe someday, of course, they can sell tickets to a Deng Li Jun concert,、mm. even though she won't actually be there for real. But、uh, you might be so convinced that you'll be able to tell your friends, "Hey, I actually saw Deng Li Jun in concert." Yeah, crazy. It was very convincing. <laughs> so、uh, again, we're talking about Pepper's Ghost being the original technology of this,、mm -hmm. and who would have imagined a transition from the simple Pepper's Ghost to these dazzling techniques? Uh, yeah, who would have imagined that? Now we've got this transition. It's quite different now.、Uh, it's not just a reflection in a piece of glass. We got lots of technology being used and motion capture and stuff like that. We're having these dazzling techniques. If something dazzles you, it amazes you, and it's usually very bright. Okay,、mm -hmm. I was dazzled by the bright light of the sun, so I had to go inside and get some sunglasses. Yeah, it's not just about recreating the past; it's about blurring the boundaries, those lines between reality and illusion. If you blur something, you make it less distinct; it becomes unclear. And I think they're trying to do that with a lot of the technology, especially those. Uh, Uh, special goggles that are being made. It's blurring the boundaries between what's real and what's not.、Um, so it's opening up new avenues for artistic expression. And our author finishes off by saying, as someone who truly cherishes or loves music, she's absolutely thrilled to see where this journey takes us next.、Uh, could be exciting. Could be a little dangerous as well. We'll see. I'm not so sure I want to go see Deng Li Jun in concert this way, but I think after our program, I'm going to go online and listen to some of her greatest hits. Yeah. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. 好，这里所讲到的全息影像的演唱会，第三个要素呢，就是 machine learning。我们从第二个句子，第三段第二个句子就可以看得到了。那再来呢，我们看到。第四个句子呢，还有第五个句子，都非常的详细的跟我们说到底怎么做的，包括 film a body double。这里 body double 所指的就是替身，然后呢，这个替身上面会覆盖上人脸，数位的人脸 ，and adding some motion captured facial expressions。而且呢，这个脸部的表情哦，其实都是什么样呢？它其实都是捕捉来用这个 motion capture， 用动作捕捉技术把它捕捉下来的。好，再来，请同学看到第五个句子 ，nothing short of astonishing 这个部分 ，nothing short of 这里呢其实也是强调。那我们可以说 that's astonishing hologram that's astonishing。就是相当令人惊叹的全息影像，可是加上一个 nothing short of， 就是要去强调，就是绝对是会让你觉得惊叹不已的。再来，我们看到第四段第三个句子 ，It's not just about creating the past。同学看到 It's not just 什么的时候呢，要特别提高警觉。通常呢，重点在后面。其实这并不只是。要重现过去，重点在后面喽。它其实啊是希望能够让现实还有幻觉之间的界限变得相当的模糊。这里的 blur 是当做动词来用，而不是形容词模糊。好，那也就是希望让观众觉得真假难辨。
那后面讲到为什么要这样做呢？还有一个重点就是 opening up new avenues， 开拓新的道路。Open up new avenues。那由于这里是前面有一个对等连接词 and， 所以两边要对等，前面是 blurring， 那这里当然也要加上 ing， opening up new avenues。好，以上就是我们针对这个单元第二天内容所做的中文讲解。谢谢大家。That's it for today, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and please enjoy the music of Deng Lijun or your favorite singer. From all of us here at English Digest, my name is Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.